Yo, what's going on everyone? I'm Boss. you're on the Boss Coin YouTube channel. A quick preface on the video is it is crazy insane that we hit 100,000 subscribers. So thank you guys so much who keep coming back, watching our stuff, subscribing to the channel, making all this stuff possible. Today's video is all gonna be about mining cryptocurrency. Okay, so cryptocurrency is risky. Mining cryptocurrency is also risky, even if you have you know this associated tangible hardware, right? $5,000 would have gotten you two mining rigs that were previously reported to be making like hundreds of dollars a day. Today's video is going to be diving into the mining profitability of, you know, basically what it was supposed to be and then what it was when we received it and how that mining profitability has decreased. The dollars earned every single day mining with these miners has decreased as time goes on. So we're going to talk about kind of like your ROI, return on investment there, your journey to break even on this gear. And if you're wondering just exactly what this gear is, what it sounds like, you may hear that hum in the background of the video. Yeah, that's gonna be a mining rig. And uh, right here behind me, you can see that's just our mining garage right there. And yeah, basically this stuff is loud, it's hot, and uh, pretty crazy stuff. So let's see what $5,000 in crypto mining gear turned into you know, a couple weeks later. The point of this video, it's gonna all revolve around mining a newer coin that was recently launched with big financial backing, Nervos Network CKB. You know, this video is not gonna be talking about the coin or this or that. It's just going to be based around spending USD and then what USD value you've gotten in that coin. Reason I'm talking about this coin is it's been one of the like very big popular coins to talk about as far as mining goes and potential mining profitability. And it is you know super liquid. $12 million of this coin has been exchanged just in the last 24 hours okay so if we look at the most prof profitable mining rigs right now these are going to be just asic miners which are also simply just kind of going to be the most profitable mining rigs right now you could get um, in the current state of crypto mining we can quickly see that this miner the Tidek Tide Miner C1 Pro, one of the miners we're talking about here today, as well as the Bitmain Ant Miner K5, which again, we've talked about these miners numerous times here recently on the channel, but basically they're both Nervo CKB Eaglesan ASIC miners. But the point is basically, if you were to buy both of these about a month ago, you would have paid approximately 5,000 USD. And currently combined at a 10 cent electric rate, which is common residential US electric rate, you'd be making combined about eight dollars and thirty cents so if we look at the Miner k5 which was because you know in the early profit calculators was supposed to be making four hundred dollars a day which is insane but here's the thing here's why this stuff is just so risky guys this is when this stuff goes up for order okay they, they always take pre-orders and it's like hey buy this it's making hundred it could be making hundreds of dollars a day and you know, then you know, it comes out early, we get a big drop, and you're like thinking, okay, cool, well, even if it makes 40 bucks a day, I'm gonna be stoked. And then about the time rolls around where you actually get it. And we made, we were on track to make like $22 the first day we got it, and we ended up making more like, kind of like the 18 in this chart. And then you can see it's quickly dropped, and uh, this is largely part to the Tidek Todd miner being produced in volume as well. I mean, look at this. This thing, you know, for a couple of days, they were they were thinking that this was going to potentially make, you know, per the calculator, one thousand two hundred dollars a day. Okay, let me just tell you, that's freaking wild. And and even right now, earning thirteen dollars and fifty two cents a day projected is pretty freaking profitable. We've had the Bitmain Ant Miner K5 for probably about like thirty seven days or something right now, and right now before you pay your electric bill it's still supposed to be making about five dollars a day so let's go ahead and look at that mining profitability but before we do that i do want to talk about today's video sponsor f2 pool okay so we have been mining on this pool one of the reasons why is they were one of the only and biggest uh, ckb nervous mining pools and it's paper share which means you get paid for every share that your miner submits simply put it's a very linear payout as you turn your miner on you're immediately starting to be credited with rewards regardless if the mining pool finds a block 
which basically takes out the risk factor from you. And one other quick note before we dive into the numbers here in today's video, I do have to thank Coin Mining Central here because without them, we wouldn't have been able to acquire these miners. They're hard to get. They come straight out of China and Hong Kong and uh, um, other countries in the area where basically if you don't have a connection, these things sell out normally the day they go up. Like that's how popular crypto mining is. A lot of people are banking big on this stuff. So anyway, using a, a middleman like this that has the right connections and does that kind of stuff full time will probably be one of the only ways you can even acquire this gear. So looking at the initial mining revenue, the Bitmain and Miner K5 came in around this time and I mined with it on F2 pool to about the 18th. And at that point I came over and started testing Spark pool and combining the uh, mining revenue, okay, from mining on F2 pool as well as on Spark pool here, we're going to have mined about 61,000 Nervo CKB, which totals up to $241. To turn a machine on in your garage, your basement, or an industrial mining farm, and for it to mine $241 at current value of anything, especially the cryptocurrencies that are easily traded out for Bitcoin or USD or whatever, uh, you know that's nothing to scoff at. I will say that's a far cry from some of the initial uh, calculations, but this is certainly a very good passive income to be making. Say if you had 10 of these devices, you would have mined over $2,000. Here's the kicker though, with a residential electric rate of 10 cents, your cost to run this miner would be $141, which leaves you with a surprisingly even only $100 of profit. At this point, you've put in $1,600, right? and you've only made a hundred dollars after your expenses so you still have one thousand five hundred dollars that you still need to earn back just to break even before we even start talking about rois and returns on your investment looking at the Toddek todd miner c1 pro it was supposed to be more powerful and more efficient making it a much better miner as you can review our mining profitability here on f2 pool you'll see it's rather inconsistent because this miner is a, is a new miner from a new company, doesn't have a big track record, and to be blunt, it is just not stable, especially when it gets hot. And guess what? Most mining farms are incredibly hot. So looking at all the coins at this mine, totaling them up, in about 14 days, the C1 Pro miner, which to be clear, depending on when you bought it, you would have, you would have paid $3,000 to $4,000. At, at our time of receiving, it was a price at about $3,400 you would have mined to, like basically 2,500 2500 CKB coins, which at the current value is an awkwardly even $100. Your cost for running that for about 14 days is gonna be about $65 at a 10 cent per kilowatt hour electric rate. Keep in mind, you know, if you're paying like five cents, which is cheap electric or like standard uh, mining farm rates, you know, granted, oftentimes they have much cheaper rates than that. But, you know, obviously you could cut that in half and this could start to be more and more interesting, especially if it's uh, in a cool environment and running stable. But the fact of the matter is, <laughs> is after you pay that electric bill, which you got to pay, that's only thirty five dollars of actual profits on a machine that you paid over three thousand four hundred dollars for so let's go ahead and look at that three thousand four hundred dollars and let's bump this up over the same time period of say like the Aminor k5 so it would basically be like times four at that point you would have mined what that's 120 plus 20 it's 140 140 dollars which would leave you with 3260 you would still need to make three thousand two hundred and sixty dollars before you're even breaking even. To be clear, we've been mining Nervo CKB for quite a while now. We've actually mined 190,000 coins. We've never bought a single coin. We've mined it on GPUs. We've mined it on FPGA miners. And now it is entirely ASIC mined. And as you can see, reviewing the network hash rate of Nervos CKB, it has gone up substantially as each generation of hardware kind of uh, you know, was released or created. And when we received the miner, you know, what was it, about April 18th or something, we, we had a network hash rate of about five peta hash, which is the P measurement right there. And looking at the network hash rate now, it's literally, it's quite literally almost 
twice as hard to mine the same amount of coins, which means there's 2x the amount of miners out there competing for the same piece of pie. So simply put, your miner is going to make half as many coins, which means you're going to earn half as much money. However, you know, it may not literally be half as much money because of the associated electric bill. So say you're mining 10 coins and it costs you $4 to run. So if you you have that, you know, you're not just making $5 now, but after you pay that electric bill, instead of making $6, I mean, obviously, I don't know, I'm running through the numbers like quick here, uh, but basically, you know, you'd be making like a dollar at that kind of uh, trajectory. And, and that's actually kind of where that mining profitability actually lies with that machine right now. So in summary, spending $5,000 on crypto mining gear here in 2020 to mine a newer coin with, you know, new miners and, and historically first batch purchases of crypto mining rigs are always the best performing because basically they're going to sell a ton of shovels to us as digital gold miners, right? And the more shovels they sell, the more money they make. However, the more shovels they sell, the less money we make as the buyer of that so you know at the end of the day we've spent five thousand dollars and if you kind of average the time periods out between like 37 and, and 14 days we'll round down and make it sound a little bit more optimistic at three weeks and basically you know after paying our electric bill as a residential miner here we've only cleared 135 dollars after our expenses that is a far cry from $5,000, especially when you're mining cryptocurrency that is a risky by itself and a very volatile market. But here's the kicker, you know, we could hold these coins and in retrospect, if this coin goes up four times in value, now that $135, you know, uh, dollars, well, it's four times that. So, you know, we're going to be over $500 in profitability in retrospect. But is that going to happen? Historically, it has some. Historically, it's also gone the other way too. And actually, CKB price has been sliding to the point where it would have been more profitable to basically sell out these coins every time we got them and we would be ahead on our long-term earnings as opposed to the current valuation. And again, you know, that's a risk. You can hold coins and you hope they go up and you know you do well. Maybe you believe in the long-term of a cryptocurrency project and you know, you just, you want to hold them a very long time or indefinitely maybe you are maybe you're maybe you're mining because you want to support the network it's decentralization these miners run the network they solve the blocks they move the uh, blockchain they uh, process transactions they make it all happen so mining is absolutely a big deal and a most multi you know faceted you know piece of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology here however you can't ignore the fact that you don't want to spend thousands of dollars to make hundreds of dollars. At a minimum, you wanna spend thousands to make thousands. Ideally, you wanna spend thousands and make tens of thousands. So this is just real world mining profitability analyzed. And I don't wanna discourage anyone by any means. I mean, we talk about mining all the time here on the channel and every situation is different. Every miner is different. Every coin is different, uh, you know, unless they're a fork which that's a crypto joke, which you probably got or you didn't, depending how much you know about cryptocurrency. I hope you laughed. <laughs> uh, I mean, guys, seriously, the, the fact of the matter here is just that, you know, here in the short term, this has really not been the best buy. And it's really why we didn't really recommend these miners when we reviewed them because they seemed super risky or the performance of say like the C1 Pro wasn't great for us in our testing. You know, again, there's tons of factors here at play. But at the end of the day, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found some value and just kind of what it looks like if you spent $5,000 on crypto mining rigs here in 2020, what the returns on that are. Keep in mind, if you've got a bang in electric rate, this could be an incredible move. If you have a really high electric rate, this could be like the worst thing you ever did. In the future, another thing I want to you know stress here before we close out the video is you know this mining gear it had a value when it was purchased or you know a market price, right? If this coin goes up incredibly in value, then this mining gear will also follow suit and become not only more profitable in retrospect with coins mined, but it will also thus have a higher day-to-day -day mining profitability as measured in USD or you know fiat currency, dollars, whatever. And you also want to make sure, I mean, this isn't financial advice by any mean, but the, but the last thing you ever want to do is sell the bottom with coins 
or any investment or, or whatever, an investment advisor, just you don't want to sell anything at its cheapest market value. Keep in mind that you may not want to dump miners at their cheapest market value. So I'm not saying it's the right time to buy or the right time to sell or anything like that. I'm just here to report to you kind of our experience here, what the relative cost was and what the relative uh, profitability was. And it's really just a timestamp here in the history of cryptocurrency mining, Nervo CKB mining, ASIC mining, whatever. So uh, as always, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, and we'll see you on the next one.